Hi, this is Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Regenie Armory Number no. 4 Montante. Uh, this one is a little bit unique in that I believe it was an older one. I got this one on sale at Purple Heart Armory's Sword NATO event. Um, so the dimensions things are slightly different. I'll try to mention those features as we kind of go along with this review. First off, it is roughly um, five foot seven as far as its height, so it's just a hair taller than I am. It has a spiral wrap, leather wrap. That is one of the things that's different. If you go and order one now, they do a different style, or I think they charge extra for this. Um, the total height is slightly shorter at 170 centimeters. Um, the listing says it's 174, so I think this one being earlier, it's just slightly shorter but that works uh, fine for me. And overall, I've been very impressed with it. Uh, once again, you will see the Perry Hawk and the guard, the ring guards. Um, spacing is nice, and especially for solo drills, this is a really nice piece. It is a blunt, but it does have a rounded, though it's not completely dead. I want you to take a look at that, that um, point does have it's rounded but it's still pretty intense i would not even think of sparring with this at with at the very least light sparring with another um blunt tip over this because you couldn't possibly safely spar and do thrusts with that um the blade on the matante is fairly thin which is nice but it is fa a fairly thick blade once again i kind of bring that up to the camera while it does have a distal taper, it has a diamond cross section. And um, that spine, that center point is fairly thick. It does have a fuller running through about a third uh, or maybe half the blade, but a third of the entire sword. It does help reduce the weight on there. Um, it, it does move reasonably stiff and solid, so there's no total lot of wobble, and I can forcefully create some. But normally, if I'm just swinging that, it doesn't really affect the overall movement of the sword. Um, when it hits kind of dead on the blade, it's not prone to wobbling. As I said, I can kind of shake it up, and you can get a little bit of that. But that's to be expected for any sword of this size. Uh, once again, unfortunately, Purple Heart Armory had this on sale. I don't think they normally sell it, so you would have to go to Regenier. I do have another Regenier Montante, same style but sharp, on order. It's been about five months, and they're telling me it's probably going to be closer to six when it's done. So just be aware, it'll take you a little while. But on the whole, if you want to do Montante drills, and you want a nice sword to do it. This is a very beautiful sword. I've been very impressed with it so far. Thank you very much. See you all later.